Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here, and this is one of my videos of my recent trip to Portugal. Um, this is in Lisbon, and this is going to be about the Lisbon Zoo, and to tell you about this zoo. So my son likes zoos. Um, I think they're cool. It depends on the zoo, really. I really like the San Diego. I like the Portland Zoo, Denver Zoo, etc. Now, this zoo, it's a smaller zoo, but not really super small you could do it in a half a day if you were on a mission and move through it if you really wanted to take your time and walk slowly through it um it, it, it'd take you a day i'd say it'd take you a, a day to make it through the zoo uh, we were kind of on a mission so we did it in probably about a half a day it was a drizzly day which we knew um uh, but it was the perfect day to go it was during a work it was a work week or excuse me, a work day, and we went in the morning, as soon as they opened, went in there, uh, very few people. This zoo, I highly, if you're in, if you're in Portugal, I highly re recommend this zoo. This zoo has a lot of character. It's a very, very old zoo. It was first founded in 1884. It's a very old zoo in regards to the look of it, the feel of it, and to be honest with you, that's what makes this zoo exceptionally good as well as honestly just a great place to go and walk around especially if you go during the times not like the weekends where i'm guessing it's busy but during the the regular work today excellent place to go visit the price for this zoo it's if you got children under three it's free for kids three to twelve it's like it would be eighteen dollars around eighteen dollars or so in american money uh, adults, it's twenty seven fifty in euros. So what would that be? Probably around thirty bucks. Seniors, nineteen fifty. And if you go as a group, uh, it's like twenty three euros, which is about probably about I don't know, a euro is a dollar oh six, basically. Anyway, the prices were fair, and I'm sure just like any zoo anywhere, they probably have free days. They have special occasions, as you can see here. We saw the free dolphin show. We watched him with the dolphins babying them and in the water playing with them before they actually did the event they're also part of a breeding program so lisbon zoo is part of the eu's breeding program if i didn't say it already in the actual video so they take great great pride in actually breeding animals uh and i guess conservation and stuff and they had a lot of animals uh and this oh let me tell you about the location so the location of the zoo is in the city it's by a, a big bus stop, so there's a lot of people waiting on the buses. No issues. Don't worry about your safety there. Um, it was a, I mean, always have awareness anywhere you're at. Don't let me say that. Real nice place. All types of people take the buses from people in suits to just regular old folks. You know, whatever. Anyway, don't, um, it's a great area. Like I said, I love the zoo because it has so much character. Um, you know, the, from, Lisbon being so being rainy at times, a very uh, more moisture filled environment than, say, Colorado. Things have like moss growing on them and all that stuff like the buildings, which can fool you in Lisbon because you see a building it can look kind of dated, which is cool. I like it. I do like when you go in and it's, it's super modern. It's been remodeled because this country in, is very big on preserving history and preserving their structures and their buildings. So it gives you this really good feeling of being of like the city the zoo different things having character ha i don't know you know feeling like the city has a soul so many cities anymore are just concrete concrete jungles to be honest with you lisbon does a really good job of balancing balancing their history with being modern and i think that's really good lisbon zoo easy to get to parking can be a little bit interesting but we found a spot down the street and walked there to it was maybe a block there and we had no issues and then I found out why I was there when we parked that you could actually rent scooters. And I'm talking about electric sit-down scooters, too. I was like, wow, you can rent those. Anyway, went to the reptile building. We actually saw a variety of different animals. My son really enjoyed his time there. As you saw, they had a dolphin show. And you'll see just real quickly, they actually have a bird show there. Bang for a buck, you get quite a bit for your money. One, one thing I will tell you, though, anybody who has mobility issues or uh, balance issues or anything be very careful on wetter days so like i said this was a day it was drizzling on and off the the pavement 
or the cobblestone and stuff does get very slipper, slippery. It's just like in Lisbon proper in the actual city. In certain areas where the cobblestones and everything are, it can get very slippery on you. So be mindful of that. Um, be very mindful going up uh, inclines or coming down declines. So, But like I said, it drizzled on and off. It was no big deal. And like you see, you see a few people out here and there. Everyone was just chilling and relaxing. You can also, in the zoo, you can get closer to the animals. I told my son, watch for this when we go to zoos internationally in different different areas and what their standards are compared to ours. And I'm not saying our standards are better. That's not what I'm saying. I just said check the standards. So there was one cage where they had, um, um, not chimpanzees, they had... Um, gosh baboons and so these baboons you could almost reach through to them just a little bit out of your way but almost and one of the baboons slapped the the ground and you can tell he had been used to this and somebody threw him some food someone was eating i'm i'm sure the zookeepers didn't want people doing that but the guy like threw him a piece of banana he knew enough he's trained he's like hey give me that and he slapped the ground and the guy threw it to him. I was like, wow, you would never see that at the Denver Zoo or any of these zoos. You would be on social media so quickly and people would be calling your house and emailing you, threatening you and everything else. But they just did it like nonchalantly. So I was like, okay, that's how they roll. Whatever. Cool. It's not, my, you know, hey, I'm not saying good or bad. Also, they had chimpanzees here. You don't hardly see chimpanzees. And they had a whole thing gang of chimpanzees there and um, because chimpanzees are dangerous they can be dangerous so i'd love to see their safety protocol and how they manage those chimps because they have at least 10 of them i'm sure it was it was had to be more than that you can see the hippos there was a feral cat i don't think i was able to get a video of it but there's a feral cat that was yeah. hanging out with the hippos that had got into because you know the like they're in together, the city so there was not. a feral cat surviving inside the zoo and that was a trip to see so, yeah, that was really cool. Like I said, also the structures there, they're really nice. They do do really good. They do a good job of creating the environments for the animals. I know some people are against zoos. Some people are for them. This video is for people that enjoy going out and going to zoos. If you don't, you know, that's your thing. You know, do your thing. But move on from this video. This is more for people that do enjoy it or just want to go check it out, have family, or just like going and seeing animals. And if you love birds, they got tons of, you know, birds, of course, because the climate there is great. They can keep a lot of birds and stuff like that there. I want to say they have over 2,000 species or over 2,000 animals and probably around 300 species, which includes 114 mammals, 157 birds, 56 reptiles, and um, five amphibians or orthopods. The zoo also has, like I said, it has a breeding program for endangered species, and they see about 800,000 to a million visitors annually, which is pretty decent for a zoo that size. And the zoo is not at full capacity, so they have huge areas. I think they still have land they haven't actually created anything for yet. One of the few zoos I've actually got to see the bears. You never hardly ever see bears out any place, and it has to do a lot with also their climate there. They have a really good climate. Their climate is awesome in Portugal in this area. Now, with that being said, um, also they have seven dolphins there. And um, I, if you have little kids, you're young at heart, or you just like checking out things, go check out the dolphins. They do it like two or three times a day. They'll have a free uh, show they put on with the dolphins. And you can actually look outside the fence. You can see the trainers working with the dolphins even when it's not open. And they'll be in there training and swimming with them, which is really cool to see. Um, would I recommend if you're in Lisbon to go here? Yes, I would. If you really like zoos and stuff, go here. This is so easy. And you don't have to, if you're on a, a very um, strict time frame, you're only going to be there, say, a week or so. You're like, oh, I don't want to use a whole day to go to the zoo. You can do this in a half a day. You get there early and you do it faster. But even doing it in a half a day like we did, we saw plenty of it. And we went about our day. I think we took off to a castle and stuff. I'll probably have a video of whatever else we did that day. But we had so much time still left to do other things. So that was really great. And we really appreciated um, just the ease of walking through this zoo. But the, the good stuff you saw and the things that there were to do in regards to when you're in there. Um, the food prices are fair. Here's the thing about Portugal. Even though they're on the euro and the euro is worth slightly a little bit more than a dollar, the prices for a lot of things is cheaper. So, you know, you go in there to get food. 
we I told I told my spouse we are not eating here. I didn't come to Portugal to eat at the zoo, you know, type of thing. I want to I want to every day, you know, experience new foods, experience new restaurant, you know, things like that. But we did have ice cream and stuff like that. Prices were I was like, okay, here we go. Let's get ready to pay six euros for one little scoop of ice cream. No, no, it was a fair price. It was two bucks or two two euros. And actually, it wasn't even two euros. I don't even think for each one of them. It was a real fair price. I was like, oh, okay. So I looked at some of the prices for food, and they were fair. They really were. Look at this. Look look at this. Just the environment of it. It was a real comfortable place to walk around to get some steps in, but not at the end of the day like the San Diego Zoo, which I do like, which you can't do in a day. Really, you can't really do it in a day and see anything. This was a great place. As you're leaving out, there's a little water thing. I think it's their water purification area. You can walk through. It has like, I don't know. You'll see it in the video where you can just walk through. We see all the water and stuff. I believe it's water purification because there's a hint of chlorine in one, one of the big pools there. Uh, check out the ducks. If you're from America, the ducks are bigger and they look totally different than the ducks over here, like their coloring and stuff like this. We had a great time here. I do recommend you go check out this zoo. I was really, I like the Henry Dorley in Omaha, but I like this one just for, I don't want to say hominess, but if it had a lot of character, like it, you could tell it had history, but it was so comfortable and for a zoo. Pretty peaceful to walk around the zoo. Also, the gondolas overhead are included in the price of tickets. We didn't do it. I just don't ever feel good in gondolas like going in a gondola over a lion, you know, a lion's den or a bear's den or a gang of chimpanzees. You know what I mean? But it's free. It's included like that. Um, go out here. Go If you're in Portugal, go check it out. I'm going to have a ton of videos coming out on my Portugal trip. I took a lot of footage I have to put together. But Portugal is a really good country. It's a country I could definitely see myself retiring to, a country I could see myself going to work remotely in. The people are great. I'll talk about it. I'll do give my full opinion on Portugal. It's very diverse. All kinds of people here, not just in the city, but in the smaller towns. Uh, the food is great. The, the climate is awesome. It's a safe country. It's easy to drive around. And to be honest with you, it it's really good. I mean, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain in a way. It just makes you feel at peace walking around here. Even busy Lisbon was fun. But then you go to the smaller cities like Porto and all these others, and it's great. I mean, look at this. Look at the zoo. Look at the structures. Right there in the middle of the st uh, city, there's a zoo. And it's a pretty cool zoo. I highly rec recommend if you're in this area, go to it. And that's us walking back to the car. We only parked like maybe a block away. Like I said, it was on and off overcast day. But regardless, it was Portugal. It was a beautiful day ultimately at the end. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Get out there. Go check out things. Seek some adventures. Make some new memories. And thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Like and subscribe. Fugal Panda out.